Hello and welcome back. A Bristol man who's been living with one of the rarest medical conditions on the planet has written a book about his ordeal. Dan Jeffries has Wyburn Mason syndrome, which is so rare only 100 people have been diagnosed with it in the States. The memoir he's penned isn't just a book, there's an app that goes with it, showing x-rays and documents from his time in hospital. But he needs our help to get it published. Meet Dan Jeffries. From birth, he has had an incredibly rare condition called Wyburn Mason syndrome, a vascular disease that means he's been blind in his left eye since birth, with short-sightedness in his right eye. But that's not all Dan has had to live with. In his 20s, he noticed that something else wasn't quite right. Uh, my hands grew a lot bigger, my feet grew two sizes, I had to get teeth removed because I couldn't eat properly, and I felt absolutely terrible. I had no uh, libido, I had no confidence, I'm a musician and I had no creativity and it wasn't until I went to Bristol Eye Hospital to help out some medical students with some exams they were looking at me and they they were commenting about my large hands and my forehead and my jaw and they all diagnosed that I might have a condition called acromegaly. So how does this rare condition affect everyday life for Dan? Well my eyes are a problem I can't drive I'm not allowed to drive um, and after uh, I had the tumour removed, I actually lost more sight in my right eye. So my field of vision is very narrow, I, that's about as much as I can see, I can't see anything going on over here. So you can imagine walking around Broadmead, or when I go to Love Saves the Day tomorrow, when I'm surrounded by 10,000 people, it's a little bit scary. Um, so that's one big thing. It, the, the acromegaly, also the tumour affected my heart. So. Um, I have to go on medication to keep make sure my blood pressure and my heart muscles are okay. Um, but really, once the tumour was removed, it was like a plug was lifted off my creativity. So everything I used to do came back to me and more. So I feel as good as I felt in a long time. Um, but yeah, those are, the, those are the main things. With such a collection of complicated conditions, it's understandable that many would find it hard to get by. But instead of letting it get him down, Dan's written a book entitled Me, Myself and I. Okay, so uh, the book very much starts off talking about living with uh, one eye, going to school. I went to QEH boarding school uh, for seven years as well. And I was really active. I loved drama, I loved theatre. I didn't really play sports because I wasn't allowed. Uh, and then it talks about how I went to university and, and sort of started to forge my career as a DJ and, uh, and a musician. And then back when I moved back to Bristol in my 20s, how I started to feel these changes. Um, uh, I, I didn't want to go out, I didn't want to write music, um, I felt pretty terrible. So it's the journey of then finding out about this condition. Obviously this could be an extremely valuable piece of literature, Wyburn Mason syndrome being so rare. So what is the current level of knowledge available on Dan's condition like? It's, Dan's syndrome is unbelievably rare. I, mean, I don't know anybody else with it, I'm not sure if he's met anybody else with it, and I think in the entire world about, I don't know, 30 or 40 cases I think have been described. So he is, you know, we deal with some rare things, um, but compared with this, uh, they seem fairly common. I mean, it's unbelievably rare. I'm Ed for Made in Bristol TV. Well, next, and you may remember the story.